okay guys um let's carry on so back to this piece so uh, now i'm seeing some kind of inform um some see some bump in here so i want to kind of fix that So someone around, someone around, so somewhere around up here, hold out and select this guy. I think uh, symmetry is off, that's fine. Then I'm just going to build something in here. Let me use my standard brush. Okay, let me increase this a bit more. Build something around here. And just use my clay build up. Take this up a bit. Okay, my dim standard. I'm carving something, something around this. I don't know what that is, but let me just build this, build it inside. Hold out and. Dig into this. It means my clay build up. Use the brush size. Hold out uh, and do that. Seems to be an issue in there. I'm not painting, I just want to dig this in. I think that's fine. Maybe I should take this my my move brush. Let me take this down. Okay, that's fine. Seems to be some pushing outward in here. Let me use my let me use my inflate brush. Use my inflate brush. Okay, my inflate brush. Increase this a bit more. Kind of make this make this match up a bit. Okay. Now reduce the size of my inflate brush. And I can go into this mesh. Move from the side. Let me use my move brush. I'm just trying to fix some fix some areas in here. Okay. It's my inflate brush. Let me turn on dynamics dynamic size. Use my bro size. Let 
and go in and kind of build up some of this surface well build this up I want to have some some more height variation in there okay Just trying to make some, just trying to make some regions pop out a bit more. I'll do likewise up here also. Make some regions pop. as quickly I will do tend, tend to do this as quickly as I can okay <clears throat> go around this add some more yeah I think this should be almost fine for now okay that's fine Sorry, I'm kind of I'm having a feud. Uh, okay, this is fine. So now let's go and walk some more in here. Let's walk some more on this guy. Let's do some work on this guy. So hold out and select this guy and then I'll isolate, I'll solo this. Sorry, I keep using the terms for I keep using the terms for um Maya. So now that I have this in here, so I can start building this up. So I'm going to be using my using my let me get this in a good position. Now symmetry is turned off. Yes, symmetry should be turned off for this. Symmetry turned off. I can start building this. Let me go. Let me go somewhere. Somewhere around here should be fine. Maybe take this down a bit more. Okay, I'm supposed to be digging that in, not pushing that out. <coughs> Old out. Dig this in. I'll dig this in. Yeah, I need some pulley pushing out. Okay. Smooth that back in. Digging out some, digging in some areas. Okay. I 
come to this other side and do something similar in here Uh, just doing some build up in here do something in here in here doesn't really matter that much because this part is going to be inside our mesh but let us get some details in there and I can crank this up as you can see those breakups are added on this lower pulley counts it's now it's now giving that soft detail soft bump detail on on the Jew, which is exactly what I want. Let me break off the symmetry in here. Let me smooth this out a bit. And dig into some of these regions. Okay, believe this should be my front. Okay, yeah, this is the front. You see, is my front. Okay, now I can do some more refinement on this. My standard brush. I need to remove I need to turn up I need to put this back to dots uh, yes then turn this off turn this off for now off so now I can use the full potential of my standard brush on this Smooth, smooth that. Use my smooth intensity. I use my dim standard brush to. Let me take take off my lazy mouse. Uh, turn off my lazy mouse. My lazy mouse off. Should be fine. Should try and dig into this mesh. Okay, dig in some more. Make this look good. Doesn't need, doesn't need to be completely accurate to this one in here, but something. Something close enough that should work. Ok. 
Okay. To take up the intensity. Do a more digging here. Okay, that's fine. Think use the cuts across into somewhere like here. We also cuts across. We make this cut across somewhere like here. Because the idea is to get some cracks in here. So I, I still have another reference image we're going to use to build up the cracks. But for now, let's let's deal with this. Okay. I'm still going to be smoothing this, but just want to get something in there. Okay. Trying to work this out. Okay. That's fine. Let me quickly, let me quickly, quickly do a save in here. Quickly do a save and keep working on this a bit more. Don't want to go crazy on this. Okay. So now with my smooth brush, take down the intensity, put down the size, now I can begin to blend this back in. Smooth this back. Smoothing this back in some region. Okay, maybe we'll, maybe we'll crank up the subdivision level one more time. Maybe. Let me increase my smooth, the intensity of the smooth. Go in here. Take this down. We're also going to be dropping in our alphas in there, but for now let's let's work with this. Let's just have create. Let's just have that general form in there. Once you have the form in there, it comes much easier to to when you add your your wood alphas. It gives it more interesting form to it you have some cracks in here
Take down my smooth. Okay. That seems fine for now. I'll do a quick save. Let me save for this and then I okay, let's see. I think I still need to work on some of the form a bit more. Take this. Adding some forms to this. Smooth that back in. Smooth that back in. You need to add the same detail in here. Trying to show this place a bit more love also. We break up this top surface. And blend that back in. Okay. I think this this is fine. Use our inflate brush to exaggerate some regions. Okay. Show this place a bit more love. Okay, so I'll do a quick, a quick save on this. I'm always saving so in case anything goes wrong, I'll still have my files to work with. So this is fine. Let me go out. Let me go out of solo mode. On this guy, I'll drag this down to one. Letting this guy again. Let me crank this up one more. And I, I'm, I'm just using an 80 gram. I just hope it doesn't crash on me. So let me let me give this a shot. Let me do a quick save first. I'll be upgrading my RAM soon just to have enough space to do more projects and upload for you guys. Yeah, great. So luckily for me, my RAM could undo that. So that's 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 awesome. So as you can see, this is looking pretty good pretty good maybe he yeah, needs a little more a little more work uh use so add a bit more a bit more shape to this My inflate brush 
try to exaggerate some things in here yeah it looks just too yeah it looks too ordinary it will do something then with my inflate brush can exaggerate some some areas ah okay okay that's fine that's fine don't mind me i'm enjoying myself that's why i'm taking so much time on this but i think we can we can live with this now this is fine okay then now we need to start dragging in our alphas in here so back to standard brush back to the standard brush hopefully we still have our settings in there we, we do that's fine use the drag rectangle let's start with let's start with this guy uh let's isolate this also i'm um, solo this also okay put this guy around here so now let's start dragging it, dragging in our alphas on this so starting with this guy No, do that. Let me use this five. Trying to figure out which one would work work best. I still have others. Um. Okay. Let me try. Let me try. There's there's some other ones I have in here. So other other ones I have in here. Let me let me bring those out. Should be uh, in here. So let's open up this and figure out which particular one we'll be needing. Oh no! <laughs> Seems to have dragged in the wrong one. Oh, maybe even the right, maybe even the right one. Cause this looks pretty good in here. This, this feels too extreme that's too extreme let's see if my settings is still working uh, my settings my settings are, settings are gone uh, add mid value around okay, let me see if, if I bring oh no all my, all my settings are gone all my settings are gone for this so let's okay, let's quickly set that back Let me import that again. Import that again. I'm, I'm not supposed to import this image. I'm supposed to import the PSD file. So uh, not. I'll go back. Uh, not should be this one. Then I go to my alpha. I would. Increase this radar feed somewhere around here should be fine. And the midpoint should be around 50. 50 should be fine. Take this up a bit. I think this should affect the other ones also. 
yes, another value I'll be setting there, which is fine. Uh, okay, let me drag this. Go back in here and use this. Use this. Now, which one did I just change? Uh, not. Should be this guy. Maybe let me let me make this a bit more intense. A bit more intense, like so. That's fine. I'll do something around here also. No, 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 no. It doesn't. It doesn't work. It doesn't work well down there. Uh. Okay. I think that should be fine. This is fine. Then we can start using the other alphas. We can start using the other alphas from for the other parts of the body. Let me start somewhere down here. This needs to be a bit more intense. Let me get something that moves in a more linear flow. And uh, I wish I wish I could see the number in here. It would have been easier if I could just see the number in here because now I don't know the actual one I used. Okay, I think I used two. Okay, let me use five now. Yes, it's fine. Okay. I can go in and use two now. Don't need to look similar mm, okay okay that's two and let me use five can I, I can see it now it's showing, it's showing in there now two and five so that's why I just finish using two let me use five now as you can see it's giving us a pretty decent results trying to follow that flow let me use two Okay, this is looking pretty good. I definitely like what I'm seeing. So, carrying on, what do we have in here? It should be. I think I, I, think I just used two. Now I'm confused. It's okay, I'm using two now. So, let me switch this to five. And get this flow in there. Okay. Now I'll do it too. So I'll take take up the intensity a bit more. Let me do a five. Okay. Now that that looks too identical. That looks too identical. Maybe I'll do a flip in the other direction. Something like this should be fine.
can come in here and make this a bit more intense maybe that's just too intense let me take this down raise this up a bit yeah not bad not bad at all for this I'm, I'm just going to use that same knot this should look pretty good in here something wider yeah that's great so this is looking pretty good yes we've done this correctly as we should take this down do something like this in here okay I'll do a quick save okay so now we can say we are officially done with that piece let me go out of solo not bad not bad at all not bad at all have that wood piece alt select this Hopefully it doesn't it doesn't crash. Okay. Oh, this is a pretty heavy scene, but so this is fine. So let me do let me do let's do a quick render on this. Let's see what we have. A quick, a quick render on this. So I'll just hit PBR up here. As you can see, this is looking pretty good. Maybe I'll, let me temporarily turn off these guys. I need to work. I need to work on this. Go to my move to and push this guy back. Undo. Shift and Alt, Alt Shift in, Alt Shift and Alt, select this, I push this in, Shift and Alt and click out, okay, Shift F, okay, let me hide this. Bring this back to where it should be. Control Shift to isolate. Double click on this again. Then I'll do Control W to have all this as one poly group. Shift and all to click outside again to bring these two back. This is fine. Do a quick save. And Shift F to go back to shaded mode. I'll like I'll like to I I'll like to hide hide this guy now. Let me quickly hide this. Going back here, so let me do a quick render on this. Okay. So in the next lesson, we're going to be working on the other bands. So I'm going to see you guys in the next lesson.